<laughs> yeah, just a warm up for this chest workout. Welcome to Vintage Genetics Guys, where it's all about classic bodybuilding. And today is actually a very interesting workout because almost every exercise will be altered. It will be an alternative, um, basically using different techniques to build more muscle when you're used to, you know, the regular chest and tricep exercises. And this is actually inspired by Antoine Valliat. If you don't know him, he has a lot of interesting uh, videos up. He is actually coming back as a known Canadian bodybuilder. And I've been using his techniques in some of my videos, also like the box squats in the previous leg workout. But we're of course starting out with the basics, the bench press. And as you can see, uh, this is set number three, 10 reps of the 120 kilos. And as you can see, it doesn't matter how heavy it gets, try, well, not try, do perform the correct form all the way down and all the way up. And now this is actually the start of the first interesting exercise. At first, it may look like a regular dumbbell press, you know, you lay in the bench, you press the dumbbell, full range of motion as you can see, but every third rep, you go up as high as you can and you twist your wrists. And as you can, you know, you have to get a look at my chest. And when you see that, I contract the chest extra hard every third rep and that is because you force your arms all the way up and your chest has to work extra hard because you're also twisting your wrist and this motion actually automatically makes you contract your chest muscle so guys if you have trouble contracting the chest if you have trouble with the mind muscle connection in your pectoral muscles on um, exercises like this try this one out so do two regular reps as you're going to see right now again one two and then the third rep you squeeze the chest together and it's already getting very hard i, I you know i already cannot twist my wrists all the way because the dumbbells have to literally twist 180 degrees but you're unable to do that as you get more and more tired but the most important thing is that you feel your chest contract and this trust me makes it twice as hard as the regular dumbbell press So now it's time for another basic. I always want to keep at least one basic incline exercise because the incline makes sure that you work on the upper chest most efficiently, effectively. And especially when you do it like this, in my opinion, Arnold used to do it like this as well, a wide grip make sure that you stretch out the pecs as much as you can So as you can see, even when you're going pretty heavy, you still, you don't want to change your form because then you change the tension in your chest because your muscles do not know how much weight is being pushed. It only knows how much tension is being exerted upon the muscle fibers. So even during the last few sets, keep your form intact. First of all, this ensures a minimal risk of injury. And second of all, it'll actually be beneficial to your muscle growth all the way through. 
Let's die. All right, so this exercise is actually pretty cool. I got it from John Meadows, who was the coach of Antoine Voya. And he is someone who, you know, makes up all these different kind of exercises that are really, you know, a different stimulation to the muscles. And you start off with a regular push-up on the Smith machine bar on the lowest position, basically. And it's a drop set of two sets. So every time you do 10 reps, you go up one setting on the Smith machine and try to do another 10 reps. And what you can do is either have someone push down on your back or hold a 20 kilo plate on your back, or, you know, depending on how strong you are. You know, and basically the last uh, set of the drop set, you don't really need anyone to push down on you because it gets pretty heavy after two drop sets like that. And this is a really good way to exhaust and fatigue those chest muscle fibers. And it's a different stimulation than anything you're used to. So as you may have noticed, I'm trying to uh, kind of alternate between basic and alternative exercises. So this is going to be quite much like a basic exercise again. But to many people, the dumb flies is different to this version. First of all, I try to keep my back straight. Uh, this gives a different kind of stretch to the chest and I uh, help my back get straight by putting up my legs. This relaxes the lower back instead of arching it. And it just stretches the chest in a different way because I watched Arnold Schwarzenegger do these as well. And what you want to do is focus on the stretch. So when you go down, make sure that you stretch those pecs out. And now we're going to a pretty heavy um, dumbbell fly, and even when it gets heavy, you don't want to compromise your form, especially on this, because if you go too heavy, as I see very many people do, a lot of people do this, it just changes to a dumbbell press instead of a fly. And the difference between a fly and a press is that you're trying to keep your arms locked. Um, you know, the elbow joint shouldn't move too much, only maybe at the very top to get an extra squeeze on the chest. But when you go down, you want to feel the maximum amount of stretch that you can. So when you automatically stop when you're going down, that's, you, that's when you know you're stretching enough because you can literally not go any further down. And then when you go up, I like to do eight regular reps of the chest flies and then two reps contracting the chest at the top. Yeah, and this is my brother. He's also kind of practicing the golden era poses, as you can see. They are not as easy as you think, but that's what makes them fun. You have the regular poses like this, for example, the side chest, but it gets very hard when you try to emulate the way they posed in the 70s and 80s because then, back then, it was an art form instead of just showing off your muscles. So now we are done with the uh, chest portion of the workout and as you notice I didn't do the dumbbell pullover because we already did quite a lot of chest exercises and I thought that would be a little too much because we still need to train the side delts and the triceps. And obviously this is a side delt exercise. And I like to do a lot of reps with this. The first set I like to start off with at least 20 reps, filling those side deltoid muscles with blood. You know, and as you notice, there's almost nobody in the gym. So, and on top of that, it was really hot. So sometimes I just like to see, uh, you know, my progress and you know who doesn't want to train shirtless in the gym to see your progress and just to see what it looks like because normally in a packed gym you just don't do it I don't like 
you know, seeing people do it either. But when there's no one around, only the guys that you know, you know, the, the staff of the gym, it doesn't really matter. And it just gives some nice footage to look to later on. But yeah, I like combining the chest and the side delts because I think the delts and the chest are really intertwined. And I really already trained the front delts by doing a lot of chest exercises. So that only leaves the side delts because retrain the rear delts on back day. Alright, so now we move on to the triceps and this, again, is an alternative exercise to an already existing one. So regularly, normally, you do this lying down on the bench, but this time we're on the floor guys. And um, you know, you don't want to do this on a nasty floor, but I've got a mat or whatever under me, so it's quite alright. But anyway. You make sure that you pause the reps at the bottom because this takes away all the momentum and from the bottom you have to use only the triceps to push the weight up and that just gives a different feeling, a different contraction to the triceps and I just wanted to try it out and it felt pretty good. And the next exercise is actually a super set of the V-bar push down and the overhead rope extension. And what I'm doing right here is I'm going up slowly, you no know, more time under tension, and then pushing the weight down, contracting the triceps at the bottom of the movement, increasing the time under tension and controlling the weight. And then we pair it up with the overhead rope extension. And I need to work on the long head of the tricep, so I like to do a lot of overhead exercises like this to really emphasize working on that long head. And this is another interesting exercise. Uh, I normally don't do a lot of dips for triceps, but I'm just gonna try it out again and doing it like this on this machine actually feels pretty good. What you don't want to do is bend forward too much because then you activate your chest. What you want to do, as you can see, is contract the triceps, especially on the bottom, and go up as far as you can without feeling your chest. The moment that you feel your chest, you go down again. And we superset the machine dips with the regular bench dips. And normally you put your feet on another bench, but this is an easier version because trust me, it is hard after just doing a heavy machine dip. And this dip is, you know, you cannot get 10 reps on this, as you can see. It basically is just to fatigue the triceps. And I'm doing this superset again, basically doing uh, three supersets of this, also three supersets of the previous exercise. I really want to work on the triceps because remember, just about two thirds of the arms are made up, you know, the upper arms are made up of, of your triceps. The three heads of your triceps, the biceps have two heads. And actually when you do a front double bicep, the biggest portion of your arm should actually be your triceps. And for me, that is not the case. So I am really working on making those triceps grow. And you will see them grow this year. I can guarantee you that. You know, normally that will be the end of the workout, but I felt like doing one more set to the death. Close grip push-ups. So the close grip emphasizes the triceps and you know you do as many reps as you can until failure and this was a video guys the next video will most likely be a new q a and just like the lean bulking video i did i will do a cutting video it will be a little shorter because i will refer to the bulking video explaining how to calculate your calories and such so a lot more coming and do not forget to stay golden yeah.